Hey, yeah, thank you, our viewers. You're welcome back to another edition of Music Business Intelligence. And we just had Tosimbi, and we just took like five minutes break before we start the second part of Music Business Intelligence. And Tosimbi has actually said a lot of things in the first part of this edition. We we'll see a few questions for him, you know, before we end this edition and what we're talking about is how to manage a band and this guy who is a rising gospel artist you know has really done well in the industry and like I said he has he, been able to do different style of music and he did those proficiently and so and he has spoken to us on so many things that he looked for in band members. He talked about dedication. He talked about passion. He taught, talked about, you know, sourcing those who can deliver, you know, better. He talked about creativity. Those are some of the things he looked for, looked out for in band members. You know, and he always, you know, tried to do something fresh. You know, that, you know, look at, bring something fresh into it. We can imagine combining R&B, combi combining Ip, Fuji, Jazz, Ewe, you understand? So, and combining everything proficiently. That's, that's very interesting. And he talked about impact making band. You understand? A band that is always trying to make impact. He talked about, you know, excellent delivery. You understand of its music so he has really done well you know in ed educating us about so many areas to look out for you know in a band and uh, and he talked about so many other areas like you know trying to meet the expectation of your invitees and he talked about some of the things that you can do if you're just starting out your band or even if you are you know, having a band already, talking about church tour and ensuring that you meet the expectation of your invitees, you know, spend, you know, he said spending is very important. So you need to spend money on your band. And so we're still going to have some questions, further questions from him. He talked about spirit of excellence too. So those are very vital issues. Now we are bringing Tosimbi. Oh, Tosimbi, you know, Tosimbi can join us again. So that we can continue on this topic. Yes, sir. I'm back. <laughs> You're welcome back. You're welcome back. Thank you, sir. Thank You're you, welcome sir. Back. Thank you very much. Like uh, we're just trying to enumerate some of the points that we've been able to discuss about. And like I said, this is very valuable. You know, it's better Thank people so listen to things like this because, like I said, it will make the industry, you know, better. Because uh -huh. one of the things mm -hmm. that I realized that is also lacking, you know, especially in the music industry, generally, is that people don't have mentors. People to That's mentor right. them, That's right. you understand? So, at times, if you have someone to mentor you, it makes you, you know, move faster. And that's one that's of right. the things of starting something like this, to bring in people to you know, share their experience. Yeah. My, my perspective on mentoring and uh, mentorship is like you said it it gives you speed yeah. uh because what you're doing is that you are avoiding some of the mistakes that the person you take as your mentor you know as um falling into you understand so yeah. when you have someone as your mentor um it's like you're climbing on the shoulder of the person to see further you understand and it gives you speed and another perspective to it is that you know it takes humility to submit yourself under someone yeah. to say okay come on mentor me and what humility does is that it, it increases grace on you. Mm. You understand? So when you are humble enough, you understand, and you submit yourself under someone for mentorship, yeah. uh, you attract the grace of God on that person to your life. That's true. That's true. You understand? So, so that's my perspective on it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we're still going to discuss, you know, about that too. So, you know, looking at some of the questions that we still have there, I think we're almost actually rounding up. So okay. my the next question is, we know that managing a band could be quite expensive. Mm -hmm. Quite expensive. It was, it was I'm a gospel artist too, and I know, yeah, <laughs> you, I know, know. How much, <laughs> you know how much, you know, has gone into this, 
You understand? So my yeah. question is, how do you raise capital for your band? I know there are so many ways by which you can raise capital for, for a band. So, you know, you are going to start from when you're talking of the experience, how you started. Now, you understand? And future. Yes, sir. <laughs> because, you know, some people are just starting. They are at the starting stage. Because mm -hmm. at the way, you know, now it's possible that, yeah, we have administrations here and there. And then, mm -hmm. if you are popularly known already to understand, it gives you a kind of leverage. So, how mm -hmm. did you start? You know, now and then. What's the plan? You understand? Okay. Yeah. Okay, how I started and um, how, um, where we are now, right? Now, yes, and then, uh, you know, maybe future, how do you think, you know, or you want to advise people generally, you understand? Okay. How, how can, so, how, what do you say? Okay, so, um, I remember when we started then, like I said earlier, you know, I had a, I had a 12-man band then, you understand, and okay. back then, there was nothing, and we were just working with it, but, uh, like I said, they could not cope because uh, there was no reward. Whether we like it or not, I know this is ministry, but at the same time, there should be some financial reward to what we call honorarium. Yeah. Do you understand? So, because the financial reward was not really, you know, forthcoming or not encouraging, they could not cope, so they had to leave me. So I had to, of course, now making collect ministry. <laughs> so, they abandoned I abandoned the ship and um, they left. You understand? So I had to continue on my own. So I guess one of the things which I'm going to um, talk about, actually as it pertains to when I started, one of the things, the mistake I made then was uh, it's good to start, if you have the capacity, it's good to start very big. But it's oftentimes advisable to start small and increase than just starting bua and then you are unable to sustain it. Mm. Do you understand? So it's, it's better to start small. You understand? Get your key guys, the, the people that you know that, okay, this one is important to, to the kind of music that I'm doing. That one is important to the kind of music I'm doing. You understand? Get them. If you don't have the capacity of running three uh, background vocals, if it's just two that you can run, you understand, conveniently, get um, um, just two. And you know, the, the good thing about it is that Sometimes some of these churches, when they invite you, yeah. you understand, they even give you room to use their team too in the church, you understand. So ideally, if I, if I have the opportunity to restart again, you understand, maybe I would have done something like this. Maybe because I know that what I do is more in the percussive angle, you understand. So I would get a keyboard player, yeah. a talking drummer, yeah. and a drummer. Maybe one uh, backup singer. Okay. So, maximum of four. Do you understand? Yeah. So, I would make sure that those four, we have done our homework very well. You understand? We ask very well. You understand? So, for everywhere I want to go to, because I'm just starting, and so I don't have the capacity singers, to no, run. No singer. No, I said, I said one. Okay, That's one in, in, Yeah, I said one singer. Okay. Maybe it, it, because of the kind of for some people they may not need a talking drummer maybe it's more of a guitar or whatever do you understand but because i'm more of a percussive um, um singer mm -hmm. so a keyboard player a drummer a talking drummer and one singer okay. do you understand mm -hmm. now the idea of that singer is that when i get to the church and they provide maybe two other singers or three mm -hmm. do you understand that person would be able to drive um, the music with those guys. And of course, I can even do something like this. Before going on stage, maybe I'll get to the church early enough. I would ask the church to provide those two people so that I can rub mine with them, you know, um, um, teach them a few things that I probably want to do. Do you understand? That's for starters now. Do you understand? So put them through one or two things I, w I want to do so that when we get on stage, they won't be funny moves and, you know, what have you. So, uh, by, by so doing, I won't be faced with the issue of not being, able to, not being able to sustain my band. You understand? At least, if I go for a program and they, they, they even if I, I'm not collecting so much honorarium yet or what have you, at least I know that I'm not taking care of too many people. Back then, I started with 12 and it was 
not easy. Mm. Do you understand? So, if I can start with that, there are churches that uh, I would probably go and I can work my arrangement around just the four of us. You understand? Yeah. We just one if, if you have a very strong singer that is very powerful, just one person, I can work it around. There are times, in fact, even till now, there are times that I'll go to some churches yeah. and uh, maybe um, they, they don't have the capacity to take care of my entire team. You understand? Yeah. I can just go with just three musicians and one singer. Hmm. You understand? And I may not even need to use their team. You understand? Because we've worked to that point where I can even, there are some things I can do with just four people. Okay. Do you understand? So it depends on the level of rehearsals that you've done. So what I'm just saying there is that when you're starting, it's okay to have uh, a massive team. You understand? As a matter of fact, you can even put all the people together. You understand? Have your complete team. But when it comes to going out, you understand, except the church is willing to foot the bill. You understand? When it comes to going out, you don't have to necessarily carry all of them out. But keep running your rehearsal. But make sure that the people that you are going out with, they are strong enough to uh, deliver whatever you are delivering excellently. So that when next you want to go, uh, uh, when next um, they have any program, they can bring you back and you can even tell them that you have a, a bigger team and you don't mind if they can allow you to come with the team. I don't know if you understand me. But it is very important that you deliver very well anywhere you go to. You deliver excellently. Do your own work. You know, do very well when you get on the stage. And by so doing, you are marketing yourself, quote and unquote. And at, at the same time, when you want to go out, you can bring, uh, bring in more people from your team, from your team. But for the people that are not going out with you yet, you can keep rehearsing with them. Spend the time that proper doors will open and you can bring in more people to go out with you. So... If I have the opportunity to start all over again, you understand, then I'll, maybe I'll start that way. But now, uh, at least I'm not there yet, but at least I'm somewhere today. And I have a 15-man band. Okay. But I don't go out with the entire 15-man band, except occasion calls for it, and the occasion is willing to sort the bill conveniently okay okay so on an average i go out with seven people with me that would be eight okay sometimes sometimes eight people that would be nine okay but uh if the event is massive enough and uh, they are willing to take care of the team conveniently. I can ask you, okay, let me bring the entire team to okay. come. Do you understand? Yeah. Because you don't want to take your entire team out and you're unable to cater for them. It doesn't, it doesn't speak well. If no. you do that today, you do that tomorrow and next tomorrow, before you know it, these guys will be pulling out. We just tell you they can no longer continue. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So it's better they don't go out at all, you understand, and there won't be any issues. That's true. So that's the way I've been. And one thing is, uh, another, another thing that we have to uh, try and do, this is one major issue that most band leaders are uh, not always doing. And I, uh, me, I try in my only two way to do it, is transparency. Okay. Transparency. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that when you go for a program, whatever they are giving you, you have to dictate it to your band like, okay, uh, so, um, uh, um, we got an invite from um, uh, Ars on the Rock, and they are giving me 50,000 naira. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you should start spelling it out for them. Yes. But in all you're doing, let them see that you are, you are, not, uh, you are not using them. Like, it's, it's not like you are just, uh, you are the one enjoying the old stuff, and you are just using them to work. They will do the work and everything, and... At the end of the day, they are not making anything out of it. Do you mm. understand? You should make them feel, you know, happy too. When they go out with you, okay, uh, if, if you are given a particular amount of money, give them something. In fact, there are times that you can go out and they are not well paid. You can even share the entire money amongst them and you just go. Mm. You go home. Just make sure you're, that your team is happy because... Uh, if you have a team that is very happy, they're happy with you, they will be willing to work with you. They will be willing to go all the way with you. Mm. 
you understand? But if you are not the open type, uh, they give you money, you, you pretend like you... Some people, they will, even, they will collect money and they will tell their team lies that uh, they will not pay them. Mm. And I, I know some team, they will go for programs, they would, maybe they can go for three, four programs. The way I do my own, if I go for four programs, I'll give you money for each of the program. But I know some band that, instead of giving the team money for each of the program, they will collapse everything together. So maybe in a case where they are supposed to collect like 50,000 Naira for the four programs or so, mm. they will now give them 25,000 Naira. Mm. And these guys, they will be looking at you, they will be looking at you, one day they will strike. Mm. So it is very, very important to be open. When you have plenty, let them enjoy plenty. When you don't have much, they will understand. But when it is every time you don't have, every time, ah, they didn't pay us well. Every time, ah, it affects the band. So that, that's, these are the ways I've been able to, by God's grace, sustain the band. And, um, you know, and I, I, I carry them along for every, for every, for every time I have anything, I can call my success. I see it as a success. So I don't, I don't count them out of the picture. You understand? Yeah. As I'm moving forward, they are moving forward too. You understand? So anything I see as my success is their success. So I always, I make it about us. In fact, I always tell my team, I always tell them that, don't see it as a Tosibi band. See it as our band. Yeah. Do you understand? Anything that you see as, you see as our our own, you understand? You would, you would treat it very well. That's but true. when you see something that is their own or is his own, you'll be nonchalant about it. That's true. But when, when you own a thing, you will treat it well. So I always make them know that it is our own. It is not my own. So if you treat it well, we'll, go, we'll fly higher. But if you don't treat it well, we won't fly anywhere. Mm. Do you understand? So, so that, that's the way it is. That's, that's, that's a very good one. Yeah, yes, yeah, this is actually not part of the list of the questions I plan to ask before us. Let me just throw it in. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. Some people are of the opinion that, as a, because we are gospel artists, right? Yes, sir. And because it's also ministry. Yes, sir. Yeah, that it's not good for gospel artists to be charging. You understand? No. Some mm -hmm. are of the opinion that <laughs> we have professionals, you know, doing this stuff. You understand? A lot of professionals, and they have family to feed, and that's what they do for us as a living. So it's good to charge. You understand? So that they know that this is what if you are calling to Cindy, we must have your one million naira ready. You understand? Before you can even mention to sing B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion? Honestly speaking, eh, before now, I used to have that opinion to that. Ah, yeah, we cannot charge you. Ah, you this is ministry. You can't charge. I, I must say that, first of all, you must know that it is ministry. And it's not a money-making venture. You understand? Uh, don't see it. Don't set out into this as, okay, ah, I want to go and blue. I want to start making money. No. However, uh, now that I have a better understanding yeah. Beyond ministry, there's a the business side to this. And uh, nobody wants to run a business and uh, run at loss. Yeah. You understand? Nobody sets out um, into a business and you are running a business as a, like a charity or non-governmental organization. You understand? Yeah. The ministry side of it for me, now that I have it, the understanding I have now is that as it is ministry for me, yeah. that means... I must, for every time I go out to minister, I must make impact. I must make sure that whatever it will take me to bless souls, to minister to people, I must put it in place. And I must make sure that I achieve that. Do you understand? But at the same time, the business side of it is that as I'm ministering and I'm making impact and I'm blessing souls, yeah. then I have to be blessed too. I have to, my, uh, if you enjoyed my ministration, then you should encourage me to do more. And beyond me, I have a team that I'm working with. Yeah. Now, this is, this, this is the part that people don't understand. Yeah. Uh, 
when you call to Simbi today, it is not just me that makes the to Simbi. It is a team. So take the team out. I may still be able to perform or minister. You understand? Yeah. But it may, it may not be as good as when you have a team with me. That's true. Okay. So how do I now keep this team? Uh, uh, there's a way they say it. You are the one that God has called. I'm the one that God the call. You understand? Now, it is my own to, inter to share the call or the calling with uh, my team. Okay. I have a calling, I have a ministry, and I like you guys to support me in my ministry. You understand? It's not like God did not call them. Yeah. You understand? But they are supporting my ministry. Yeah. Do you understand? So it is, as much as it is ministry, it is also business for them too. So I have to take care of them to make the ministry to go to grow in leaps and bounds. You understand? So uh, there are many things we try to put in place to deliver excellence. One of such is Riaz House. Yeah. It takes a lot to Riaz. So you don't expect me to spend so much on Riaz House. And uh, I will now come to minister. You now tell me, God bless you. <laughs> so <laughs> we need to understand uh, um, this perspective. And another reason people charge, which I now understand, because I've fallen victim of that too, severally. Yeah. It's because sometimes we, we trust people that they should know better. Well, oftentimes, the people that you think should know better are the ones that even disappoint the most. You understand? You get an invitation by a social church, and um, you think, ah, ah, this kind of church, they should know better. And you get there, and stories, after ministering, stories will start coming up. Don't worry. They, can, they will even give you a funny check. They will give you a check, and the check will not, you know, they may not, money may not be in the account. So many things. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Or for instance, you are going to a terrain that you don't know much about. You understand? This is another angle to it. It's a thing to charge. It's another thing to tell them to pay you before you come. Yeah. You understand? This and that. So it, it, it's even two um, sides now. One is people have issue with the fact that some people charge. And that angle to, is that, is, to it is that why would you tell me to pay you before you come? Mm -hmm. But before now, I used to criticize people too for that. That why would you tell people to pay you before you come? But now I know better. <laughs> you know, you you if you go to a terrain where you don't know um, so much about these people, and uh, you go there with the hope that okay, uh, they should know better. Sometimes people will disappoint you. Mm. I have heard about cases where um, some people I won't like to mention their names. They traveled out to an African country, okay. and and um, those people that invited them, they sorted their one-way ticket um, with the hope that after the administration, after everything, they will sort their return ticket. Uh, they got into the country, they lodged them, and after the concert and uh, blah, 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 the person that invited them disappeared. Mm. Now, they got back to the hotel trying to sort out, blah, blah, blah. They, they, they dropped them in the hotel, yeah. and those guys disappeared out. You know all these uh, funny moves now? Don't worry, they will call you. The, the people that invited you are coming to meet you in the hotel. We just want to drop you. They are coming. Everybody disappeared. They got to know that they have not even paid for the hotel. Hmm. So, the hotel people had to hold them down, that they have to collect their money. And now, they don't even have any ticket to fly out of the country. It took and have they the intervention. Have they ministered at this point in time? They've, minister, they've ministered. You know, sometimes when you go for programs, uh, after a mission, they will return you to the hotel to relax and everything. Yeah. They will say that when you, when you sleep and you wake up, they will come and see you and, uh, so that you can sort things out. Those are the gimmicks. So uh, it took the intervention of the Nigerian embassy in that country before they could fly back to Niger. So now imagine if they had said, okay, pay my money into the account before I come. You know, there won't be all these things. If they had sorted everything, pay the money, sort my flight ticket, make sure everything is complete, pam, 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 pam. You understand? There won't be any issue like this. Mm. But people always have issues with the fact that you are making all these demands. It is not uh, out of place, sincerely. Mm. 
you are just trying to protect yourself because people are phony nowadays. So before now, I used to criticize people that would say that would that are always charging and they are saying, fine, you have, we have to be flexible about things too. You understand? Don't say that if you don't pay me this, I'm not coming. I don't, I don't like that idea too. You understand? You should be flexible. And that's how to show that for you, it is not really, uh, as much as the business side of it is there, uh, it is still ministry. So you have to be flexible about it too. But there are times that I get invitation and it will tell me I don't have the capacity to do um, so, 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 so and so. You understand? And I'll tell them, don't worry. Anything, whatever you have, just bring it. Because at the end of the day, all these things, God will ask also. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> the talent I gave you, how did you use it? Mm. You understand? Mm. <laughs> so you must have this consciousness. Yeah. You know? So it is not out of... I am not... I don't go all out to say... To place a demand. Like, okay, if you don't pay me this, I'm not coming. I don't do that. Okay. You understand, but I won't make you feel that uh, 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 it is. Um, don't worry. Um, I, uh, anything you do, no. We have to. We have to be able to spell it out and know what we are doing because I have a team. It even helps me in planning yeah. to know who and who I'm bringing, who I'm not bringing. So is it that you normally ask them for the budget, or you have a standard price that you give out? If you are bringing my full band, you must give me up to this. Or if you are, you understand, if you are bringing half band, because, you know, you know, I was also in Nigeria before, and now in yeah. Um, yeah. I know about gospel artists, yeah, you understand, like, yes, sir. bring a lot of gospel artists from, yes, sir. from, at least from outside yeah. the country, from even yes, Nigeria, sir. from US, most yes, of, sir. not us, I mean the church that I attend there, for instance. Yes, sir. So the, I realized that the way they do their own stuff, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. It's a bit different from the way we, we do it in Nigeria. You know, yes, the, the, it's what you call artist rider. You know, they even tell you specifically, exactly. yeah. you know, to the detail of the instrument exactly. that they want. On the rider, they do you that... have the food, you have the menu that you need to prepare, oh, you know, the kind of hotel, the kind of flight that they need to take, either for class or business, you understand, or economy, everything will be well spread out. You understand? So, and you will sign, it's an agreement. You will exactly. you know, sign the agreement and everything, and then you, so, exactly. and some percentage might be paid up front, you understand, before exactly. they come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everything must be in place. If you have a challenge with anything listed in the artist rider, you need to inform them ahead of time so you both agree. Uh, okay, look, mm -hmm. this thing, okay, it's like this won't work. Okay, this is what okay. will work. So everything yeah. will be well ironed out. So mm -hmm. I realized that it's actually a bit different bargain. It doesn't mean that some don't also make sacrifice to it. Depending on the mm -hmm. level you are, you understand, in the, in, the, in the industry. So what's your take about it? Is it that you, you say, okay, pay me ahead, or you don't even charge at all? Because I know, I know some, I, I won't mention him. But even in Nigeria, you know, the every very renowned artist who says it doesn't charge. You understand? So that's what he does. So maybe later, maybe he try to find a way to take care of the band, anyways. If they if they call if they are calling the band, and I know some, you must pay before they they, they even come. So what's your take about it? What style will you? For me, for me, um, I, this is where I run my own. Uh, I don't. I can say that I don't charge you. I can say that. Uh, what I do is that when I get a call and I got I get the details. Okay, where and you know when and everything. So I probably will wait for you to talk about it. Okay, uh, uh, if you are if you are the one asking me, so what are we looking at? Blah blah blah. Okay, I'll tell you. Well. I have a team of so 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 so, so amount, uh, so so number of people. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I don't know what your plan is. Now I, I already have something in my head, like mm -hmm. a figure that I know that would not would save us right. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So if what you are bringing falls into that figure, yeah. I'll tell you it's fine, no problem. Even if it's not up to you, but it's still in that circle. 
Yeah. You understand? Because I mean, so I don't like... Range, I have a range, do you understand? Okay. I don't like to be caught in the web of trying to price, uh, to negotiate, uh, uh, oh yeah, like you're selling something. Uh, I say you collect 150. Say you collect um, 200,000. Say, uh, okay, please now, help us. I don't like, I don't like uh, that. So once, once you mention something that falls within that range, okay, I can tell you, okay, fine, no, no problem. But if it doesn't fall within that range, then I can tell you, uh, can you step it up? Can you raise it higher? So if you are saying that it is not going to be convenient for you to raise it higher, then I will now let you understand that, okay, if it's not going to be convenient, that means I will reduce the number of people coming with me. Okay. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. So that it can fall within your... But the implication is that you may, I would let them know, you may not uh, uh, enjoy the level of music. You must have seen us somewhere before you say, okay, you want us to come. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> so you may not enjoy that level of music, mm -hmm. you understand, if I have to reduce the number of people coming. Yeah. So if you want that level of music, that means you have to, you know, do something in the range of what I had, uh, what I have, do okay. you understand, yeah. in mind. So if they are saying they, can't, they are not um, able to pay to do what I have in mind, you understand, even though I won't tell you this is what I have in mind. So if you are saying you are unable to do that, then I will probably reduce the number of people coming with me so that I can suit your, uh, the worst that can happen is I'll come alone. Yeah. Okay. Can I throw okay. one question to you? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yes, maybe sir. one or two or three questions before we round up. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Sir. In my, I also took one of the addition of this uh, music business intelligence because I, yes, sir. I'm into digital marketing and I yes, talked about some of the digital marketing strategy that yes, sir. people use, which I think gospel artists could use too. You understand? And one of them yes, is sir. what I call freemium. Freemium. Mm. Freemium is a is a business concept that is being used globally in many parts of the world. And freemium means, you know, you are offering something free. You understand? Okay. In order to get premium. Okay. You know, a okay. lot of companies, you know, do that. I use okay. Facebook as an example. For instance, you know, Facebook, for you to join Facebook platform, is free. It's free, yeah. You put your stuff there and register. Well, you think it's mm -hmm. free, but it's not really free in the real sense. Yeah. But yeah. what they're doing is that they are getting your data. They know the city you are coming from, your country. Mm -hmm. They ask so many questions, which you have answered. Why join mm -hmm. So with that free model, they use that to gather, you know, information, so information <clears throat> and a lot of people globally. That's why they have over mm -hmm. a billion users. So mm -hmm. where the premium now comes in is that if you want to promote yourself to reach a wider audience, you understand, you need to now pay a premium. Okay. So that's the freemium model. In Google too, Google used that same model. Google, yeah. you know, if you want to get information on Google, it's free. Mm -hmm. It's free. You can even place your story. If you search for your story, you can see it, you understand, for free. Mm -hmm. But you know, at times when you're searching for something on Google, you have hundreds of pages. Most of the time, people just look at the first or second, or maybe if you are increasing, yeah, people look at the third page. The pages that's are true. too many. That's too so many, many yeah. There are some information that you will never see. And then you go to the hundredth page or 101 page or anything, you understand? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's also that they are providing information for free, you understand, mm -hmm. on Google. And so at the end of the day, if the way they now make their premium <laughs> is that if you now want your page to rank on Google, you want to be on the first page, you might need to do paid search. You need to call PPC or you do Google AdWords, you know, or do all those stuff, and your yeah. page will now rank. And some businesses do that also for free. For instance, if you, if you see some people, maybe they want to bring some drink out now, new drink that people don't know about, they call people out, come and have free tasting. You understand? It's not really free. What they are trying to do is that they are trying to change your taste board so that by the time you eat it, you taste it once or twice, you know, you have appetite. By the time the free That's is over, right. you will pay premium. You, you pay understand? Pay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. For, <laughs> for you to get that product. So, I just want to ask you, 
is there any time that you you is there a, an event that they will invite you to that you say my band eh, this event whether they pay or not we are all going there you know using the same concept say yeah. ah, you understand we must all put our best there because by the time they see this you understand <laughs> it will bring some premium later do you use that method at all i, I do it very if i still do one recently recently in this in this um COVID, uh whatever i still did one okay you understand yeah. that i had to go with my entire team you understand i even had to pay them from my pocket okay do you understand i paid them yeah. so i didn't get paid i wasn't paid from the event you understand but i paid my guys from my pocket you okay. understand there are some there are some platforms that like i always tell my guys there are some platforms that uh you may not make money from it you understand yeah. But uh, it will give you a better visibility. Yeah. A better people uh, uh, that uh, probably don't know about you, or um, uh, people that have not really, you know, seen the best of you. You understand? Yeah. Uh, would get to see you. Would get to enjoy, you know, what you carry and what have you. And uh, another angle to it is that some of these platforms, the way they probably would push your content. Yeah. Do you understand? You may not even have the capacity to push it on that level. You understand? So, more like you are creating a content yeah. and they are pushing it for you. You understand? Yeah. To go beyond where you can even imagine. That's true. Do you understand? So, so it's like you are, it's as good as I'm paying little, you know, to gain so much. Mm. Mm. Understand? So I, I do it. I, there are some platforms I go for, and when they tell me about it, uh, okay, we don't have money, um, but we would like you to be a part of it. You understand? Mm -hmm. And another angle to it is that when people see you on such platforms, it, they may not even know that you didn't collect anything. No. You understand? But the fact that such a brand or such platform can identify with you yeah. automatically would raise your GP, quote and unquote now. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, wow, there must be something about this person. You understand if so so and so can identify with this, this person yeah. that means there's something about him so those are the those are the things you have to everything shouldn't be about ah money oh, ah if you don't pay me i'm not coming no 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 it shouldn't be like that it shouldn't be like that yeah. <laughs> okay thank yeah. you very much i think i'm done so with the question here but i will ask you the question that someone asked on on yes, why we are doing this stuff and it said how do you get lawyer instrumentalist Hmm. Well, uh, one of the the one of the key ways is money. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sorry, before you answer, you let me quickly tell yeah. everyone. Please, if you have further questions, because we are rounding up now, if you have any question for Tosimbi or any question that you want us to answer, you know, on this edition, please type it. Type it. Uh, and we're going to ask, and then we round up. Thank you very much for joining, and let's listen to Tosin B. So, how do you get lawyer instrumentalist? Yeah, one of, one of the ways is, uh, you know, money. When I say money, it may not even be, it may not be a million or a billion or whatever, you understand? Yeah. But if you are collecting, maybe you are collecting 10,000 naira, but you are making sure that you are taking care of them very well, you understand? Yeah. So, maybe I should know, I should know it's the word money now. Maybe let me just say, uh, taking care of them very well, you understand. As in, um, uh, when when in the course of the business or you know um, what, whatever you're doing together, letting them know that you care so much for them, and as you grow, uh, as they are involved in your growth, they will be growing too. You understand in every sense of the word growth, financially and you know every, so automatically they will be loyal to you. You understand and. When you, you make them see it as a family, it's not just, okay, I'm the boss and it's all about the business. So after we are done ministering now, everybody go back to your home. The next time I will hear from you is um, when we have another administration. Uh, if, you are the, if, if you are that kind of person, they won't be loyal to you. You understand? Because if you see, they just see it as business. You understand? Since uh, the only time you get to call them is when you have rehearsal or uh, when you have the next program then it, there's, it, that's not family. So when you make it a family affair, you understand, and you take care of them very well, you understand, 
Yeah. They'll be loyal to you. Another angle to it is that people, naturally, like I said earlier, people like, when they see your work ethics, when they see the level of effort you put into your work and the level of excellence that you deliver, they yeah. want to be associated with you. That's true. Do you understand? They want to be like, okay, I, I play for, I play for to sing. I play for to sing. You understand? Because it, it will be a pride for them. Mm. Do you understand? So, by so, by so, these are ways you can get them to be loyal to you because, you know, they know that, uh, quote and unquote, it's a privilege that you're working with them and it's a privilege that they're working with you too. You understand? So, they want to misuse that opportunity. They want to be with you. You understand? But ultimately, when you make it a family affair, mm. nobody wants to live in a place where they are seen as family. You understand? Mm. Nobody wants to live. Mm. So. That's, that's very good. One. Thank you so much for you know, honoring our invitation. I want to ask, we are running up soon. If you have any questions, I've not seen any more questions, but please just give to CB a thumbs up for, you know, <laughs> for honoring our invitation today and for the <laughs> world of experience that he has, he has been able to share with us. Just give him a thumb up. Yeah, say thank you to Simbi. <laughs> thank you. Thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much. much thank you so much. We appreciate you. So, if, you, in the absence of no question, I just want to tell everyone that, yeah, this is Music Business Intelligence. We do this often. We have several editions on this platform, which you can check out. We've brought uh, the likes of Edward Sunday. We've brought uh, Wale Oney. We've brought Kestik. We've brought Akin Alabi. You know, uh, we've brought Shogi Tosh all the way from UK. So, oh, you know, Mr. Shogi. <laughs> yeah, different experience. Share different experience. And it has been really eye-opening. And the essence of this is that we just need to, you know, understand some things. Um, we are looking forward to seeing, you know, gospel music in Nigeria. We thank God for what God is doing in Nigeria presently. And I'm so proud, you know, especially during this uh, global pandemic. And I was there yes, just hearing Waymaker everywhere, you know, became exactly. the global song. <laughs> that was a thing of joy for, for us as a Nigeria, that this is our song. You understand? Yeah. Yes, we, yes, we, know, we know this. We know this. Woman. It's in the blog. So it, it inspires us that, yeah, we can do something global. So we can, we can learn from each other and see how we can push the frontiers of gospel music and expand the mm -hmm. frontiers of the gospel, you know, globally. And so you, you, we can learn from each other. The Bible says, iron sharpens iron. iron. So, mm -hmm. And that's the sense of this, sharpening one another and see how we can make our stuff better. And that's what Woodcliffe is all about. We manage music business professionals. We're involved mm -hmm. in music business consultancy, digital marketing. You know, we manage professionals and do all sorts, you understand, just to push gospel music professional business professionals you know to achieve their goal not only locally but even now globally and so we have a lot of you know ways we do that and one of the programs that we offer is music business intelligence and we want to thank Tosin B for honoring thank our invitation you, today thank you very much we appreciate thank you so celebrate much. you i want to express so our profound gratitude to you for honoring our invitation and we have learned you, one or two things today and I believe that we can apply it, you know, to whatever we bring to make music, gospel music better. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thanks for Thank joining. Thank you so much, sir. God bless Thank you, sir. Thank you. God See you next you, time. Yes, sir. All right, sir. All right, sir. Yeah. All right.